Uh, I've been a fan of yours for years, Scotty. Your patience and perseverance is admirable. Betty Jo, you are admirable. Admir Betty Jo, you are admirable as well. But I didn't want you picking up on negativity. It's, anybody can be negative. You're much, much better than that. And you've got to realize that I'm not going anywhere until the good Lord calls me. You know? So it's, uh, uh, you know, that's it. The trumpet shall sound, and I will cross the River Jordan. But until then, we shall be pressing on. Scotty McClue is going nowhere. If people choose to listen, that's beautiful. If people choose not to, that's absolutely fine. We live in a world of personal freedom and choice. Yes, and anything that threatens that world, we must eradicate it immediately. There we are. Scotty, will McClue's radio ever reach the Isle of Man? Jonathan, I used to broadcast to the Isle of Man every single night on Red Rose Gold. It was fantastic. Because I remember we brought up a subject about should we ban the TT because it's dangerous. And the calls, the calls from the Isle of Man. Yes, and of course, I used to I used to uh, go to the Isle of Man through border television when I read the news on border television. Isle of Man, very big. I remember walking down the street in Glasgow and somebody came up and said, Hello, I can't believe we met you. And I thought, I don't know who this is. I said, sorry, you'll need to tell me. You'll need to remind me. They said, oh, I've never actually met before. We're from the Isle of Man and we watch you every day. So there we are. Martha says, I'd love you to come to our Drossen. Well, we might do that. I remember we went out to Lanarkshire one day. You'd have thought the Queen had arrived. Everybody was hanging out the windows. So there we are. Fantastic. Very kind of you to say so, Betty Jo. And you and I are fine. Scotty, uh, hello from Birmingham. Thank you to hello, Bradley. How are you doing in Birmingham? Yep, yeah, you're correct. Her husband is a shareholder in Trafalgar House. There you are, David. And did they not buy the shipyards quite cheap? The Clyde shipyards. Oh, it makes me shiver when I think of the wonderful families, the Greenock families, the Port Glasgow families, the Lithgows. Yes, the wonderful Lithgows who did so much for Port Glasgow and Greenock. Who else did we have? We had Harland and Wool.